Hey guys, welcome back to another review, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Studio Series Voyager Class uh, Skipjack. So here he is in his bulldozer mode, and I think it looks pretty, pretty solid for what it is. So I'm getting close here. Um, here's some nice blue here for the windows, and then black kind of lining that all around. Got nice uh, silver right up here for the actual... Um, I don't know what you'd call this, the scoop? I, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. There's some silver in here for the pistons and whatnot. And, you know, um, it's just more yellow and black and other colors. You have his uh, thumbs sticking out the back, unfortunately, but they don't really bother me. You have, you know, robot stuff here. And on the underside, you have, you know, visible head, everything right there. But, um... He does have uh, three real rolling wheels, so you can kind of roll them around, but mine more slides than rolls, so I mean, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. It doesn't really bother me that much, but, you know, it's just a thing. Um, uh, yeah, he just, he just, he doesn't really roll that. I guess he, yeah, he kind of rolls, but, um, but other than that, uh, you know, you get, you do have some nice silver detail in here with the treads and whatnot and i know on camera the yellow looks very off because of the way that you know it you know the painted yellow and the yellow plastic but it really doesn't look that bad in person like you almost can't tell so yeah that's just kind of unfortunate though that on camera that comes across as like a bright yellow and that's like a you know kind of a darker yellow so <clears throat> but as far as uh this mode goes i believe that is about it so we will get down to his combined mode. So, uh, first thing that I do is um, come underneath here and untab these tread sections and take this uh, stand piece and toss that off to the side because you ain't gonna need it for combined mode. Uh, the next thing I do is untab, excuse me, this panel from either side, bring this up just to get these out to the side so you can work on, you know, these sections. Uh, you also want to take this top section here and ratchet this up and then take this piece in here, swivel this up, and you want to collapse these side panels down like so. And then <clears throat> you want to take his, this section right here and untab it, rotate it around, take this section, untab it, bring it down, and take this section and bring it down. What that's going to do is it's going to give you clearance to rotate this section around. You want to rotate it about halfway and then untab the thumb piece here, swing it around, swing it in, and then you can just finish rotating it the rest of the way. If I can get it all lined up right. Yeah, there we go. And then you just want to take all these pieces and tab them back together. Take this section, bring this up, tab that in, if I can get it, tab it in, and then this uh, finger piece right here, you just want to bring it, lay it, you know, lay it flat, and then take this section, bring this down, and then you're going to want to uh, leave that like that for now. And you just want to do the same thing on this side, so just kind of bring this section here, bring that down. Bring this finger piece, bring that down, <clears throat> excuse me, bring this section around, and then rotate this piece about halfway, if I can get it, rotate it about halfway, rotate the thumb around, bring it in, and finish rotating this section the rest of the way around, if I can get it. It is a little tricky to do. Maybe you have to do it the other way instead. Come on. Maybe if it wants to work with me. There we go. So bring that around, flip this around, bring this out to the side, and then continue rotating it so that it is lined back up like so. And then, oh, I guess you want to finish putting those up, bring this section bring, whoop, can't see what I'm doing, bring that up, and take the section and bring it around and tab that back in to place. <clears throat> now, you want to take these two sections, and there's a little hook here that'll hook over this part, and you can 
hook these together right like so if I can get in there to do it come on do it work with me there we go so you're gonna hook them like that and then you can take these pieces and kind of collapse them down to cover the face you want to take these pieces bring this down tab all this back together bring that down tab this to get all like so and then you just want to take the treads and close them back up like so and there you have the combine <clears throat> mode all done so here he is in his uh in his foot mode and it looks like devastator's foot you can see he has uh he's got his two toes and it looks like a foot and he does he will have or he th does have a ankle pivot so that it's that's nice so and it's a ratcheted or it's ratchety so very nice so yeah that's about it for uh for foot mode so now i guess we're just getting to robot mode uh so you can bring the section bring that down tap that back in um and undo all the work that we just did with this area untab that untab that bring these up and you're just going to leave these up you also want to take this section here and bring it up that has the uh the wheel you then can unhook these sections in there and bring them out <clears throat> and again bring these down bring this down and you're just gonna rotate this back around rotate it halfway swing that back to the proper side and finish rotating it around and you're gonna want to tap that back in then take this section angle this it sits uh, flat like that for both modes but for robot mode you're gonna want to bring it out like so and you can finish bringing the fingers out and this piece you can just kind of leave hanging out like so and then you have an arm all done oh you want to do the same thing on this side so bring this down and around untab this one and bring this down and around untab the treads bring this section down untab this rotate it flip this around finish rotating it and flip the section up and you can finish bringing these down and around tab that back in bring this tread up and there you have the arms all done now you want to kind of just extend this whole uh um waist section like so you want to come in here and bring this piece out and you want to bring this stand back in flip out that piece and that port will go into or this post will go into that port like so and there you have skipjack in his robot mode and i think he looks pretty dang good i know we didn't see him in the movie we saw rampage instead which is just this but red and i will be doing a review on him uh not i don't know when but you know it, it, it's rampage but red so but he does look really good um definitely an improvement over the original toy so but overall i really do like it i think he's pretty dang cool that uh head sculpt looks absolutely frightening but i really like it and just all the mechanical detail you know all the silver in here the pistons here and you know the silver on the arms and everything and the fingers i think it just looks overall really really good and i think he cleans up pretty well too can you know for what it is i mean yeah you have this back here and this but that doesn't really bother me that much uh, as far as articulation goes uh this it's got a hinge joint here the head itself is on a ball joint so you can kind of you know and you can look side to side so you can do that um the arms can do a full 360 he's kind of he's got a butterfly joint right there uh that can go in and out he's got a bicep swivel he doesn't really have elbows but um he does have you know finger articulation so you can move his uh his fingers around and these treads are on there's a hinge here hinge here and a hinge here so you can kind of get those to look however you uh however you want and then he doesn't really have a leg but as far as his uh 
stump goes. Uh, there's a hinge joint right here. There's a ratchet joint right there. So you can use that. He does have a, uh, a, a waist swivel, a stump swivel. I don't know, but you can do that and it's nice and ratchety. So you got that going on. Um, eh. And uh, this, you know, this rotates if you need it to, and you can, there's a hinge there. So, I mean, he's posable for what he is. It's, I mean, yeah, <laughs> he's weird, but I, I really do like it. So, um, as far as uh, comparison, actually, wait, real quick before we get to comparisons, he does technically have two, uh, two, two guns. So if you come to the sides here, uh, these uh, smokestack pieces, you can take them both off and you can plug them into his uh his thumb here there's a uh a uh, a port or a tab right there and you can take them and plug them in and give him like the guns that he had in the uh in the movie so you can do that if you want i personally just leave them on but you know it's your toy you do with it as you wish so put that back on him put it back on him come on there we go so yeah he, he does technically i guess you can say he has uh two uh two guns so there's uh there's that so but as far as comparison goes uh here is scrap metal high tower and uh long haul so you can see how the the team is shaping up to be and i think they all look really good together so a lot of yellow though i mean you got three yellow dudes and a green dude so but i do like how they all look together so they look nice get these guys off to the side so as far as my final thoughts on this guy um i think he's pretty cool i like him quite a bit actually uh i think he's very I mean, he, he looks pretty dang movie accurate to what we saw, at least in my opinion. And just as a figure, I think he's pretty fun. So, um, and again, Rampage is the same thing, except Red. I will be, I mean, again, I'll be doing a, a separate review on him in a bit. But um, I definitely prefer this, this uh, color in combined mode. Just because it breaks it up, because there's a lot of red. And I mean, there's a lot of yellow too, but having a lot of red for the like the waist area and the torso and then having like a red leg um it just it's a lot of red so having that yellow in there does help so i definitely prefer this guy for combined mode of having rampage stand as an individual figure so but yeah um i do highly uh, recommend you get them if you you know like this design or just want to complete devastator so um that's about it for my review of the transformers studio series voyager class skipjack uh thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and have a good one